continuing our coverage here from Pittsburgh. We're here with analyst Josh Wetmore. Josh, we just went to the press conference for Syracuse. What do you think changes now that Fab Mello will be out and you know the team's going to be missing him there in that zone? Well, the main thing that's going to change for Syracuse is how they handle things defensively. I mean, obviously, Fab Mello, the Big East defensive player of the year, is a huge presence down there as a seven-footer. Now, that being said, UNC Asheville is a pretty small team, so players like Rakeem Christmas and Bamu Sakita should be able to have a big impact defensively anyway, but they're certainly going to miss the presence of the seven-footer down low. And besides those two big guys you just mentioned, what other guys on the team are going to have to step up in order for Syracuse to make a long run in this tournament? Well, Jim Beheim mentioned that it's quite possible that Syracuse goes to a three-guard lineup at times in the game, so that would mean the guards are going to have to step up as well. And Beheim said throughout the year that guys like Michael Carter Williams and Brandon Trish sometimes don't have the stats that people expected from them because there just haven't been enough minutes to go around. Well, that's going to change in this one. There's going to be more minutes with one less guy in the court. So I think guys like Deion Waiters, Michael Carter Williams, and Brandon Trish could have a big impact on this game if they can score on their points and put that pressure on the Seattle's advantage. And as you mentioned, Fab Mello, the defensive player of the year in the Big East, he's a big presence in that zone. And now that he's gone, do you think Syracuse will move more towards a press coverage in trying to defend teams? Well, I definitely think it's something that they'll try. It's something that has worked for them in the past, particularly when they're down. They have gotten a lot of turnovers out of the full court press. That being said, UNC Asheville is a team that loves to run the court, and they might actually be fairly adept at breaking that full court press and getting a lot of easy buckets on the offensive end. So I think it's something that Jim Beheim will try, but if UNC Asheville is able to break it, it might not be something they stick with for very long. It really just all depends on how that first effort goes and whether it was beneficial to UNC Asheville or beneficial to Syracuse. And that was our analyst, Josh Webmore. I'm Chip Angelis with our continued coverage from the NCAA tournament here in Pittsburgh.